Seven block in the super smart Lexus, and also the uh, winner series champion for the Sparrow. Then they slide out of the blocks. But the rest get underway, and one double like big time, like Snow Tommy firing in a 682, which in turn was 160. Shane Winter in the infield blocks, one and seven. Terry Bradley all over the shop on the home side. He's still annoying. Tom Waller for the Dover boys, making the early run from 239. Nemesis number 90, Joe Dunn, out of Macula Jag in third as they get underway in racing. In heat number one, one double eight victory, having a difficult one at 60. As behind, 313, Craig Osborne with a big lunge at 347, the ball. He goes around, one and seven, most of a head on shot with a spun 313 machine. And Tom Waller flattens, one and seven in turn. 21 now, Colbert goes in on Waller, and he's blown up on one and four, Adam Jackson. 156 back, Muscle through the rim, we're on 209. 239, Nemesis leads, but he will throw it away for a big hit in the rear wheel to 114, Adam Jackson. 239, Nemesis leads. Pile up there on the home straight, Jason Cole, we're looking to get himself out of harm's way. Top turn, head on between 207, Billy Randall in the spot, 1010 then, and then 370, Bolt through the rear of the DWO Young Gun. 114, Adam Jackson gets involved, he gets rid of the rear wheel from Pikey. As they fight their way through the action, all on the home straight in this one. As up in the top turn, one with oh ten men head on with two oh seven. It's blown up by number ten, Paul Whiteman. They get up on the top turn by the midnight runner. Two thirty nine. Oh, driving home straight, chubby all the way over, lands on his wheels, and we will race on. Spectacular crash on the home straight from the supreme champion as Dave Ball is now burying himself in the boot of Gary Mearsar up on the road turn. 239, 331. Sorry, number 90 is second. My apologies, Joe 90 is second. Blockhead trying to get free of the grave digger up on the road turn. As the rest go racing through its halfway. Thomas for 239 Nemesis, who's been one of the stars of the season so far in the world of National Bank of Racing. Number 90, 331 is the race for second. And the world champion now muscles Joe Dyney out of the way to take that second place spot. 5.25, Wesley Starmer is up into fourth now. And the second half of this race will be to be a lot more subdued. As Joe Dyney extra tires and 3.31, Boxer Jack fires that cone to the fence. Five to go next time. That cone ripping the... Uh, Front wheel out of that car and then he's dumped into the stricken box sparrow machine by John Cabal. Leader goes through in this evening's opening heat for the unlimited bang as a lively affair. 3 to 8 Dan Latham is now third. The Mildenhall Track Townsend leader as Nemesis leading the way, spins around it with the senior and Jonesy. His first meeting back in action, looking at my hats, injects an action here at the end, he's turned it around. He's been waiting six months to get back on track. Who they all come in the opening heat for the unlimited bangers. Two to go this time around for Steve Nemesis Carter, Andy Jones, his teammate, lurking on the pit bench. Let's try and assist. Mikey's not on the lead lap. And 3 4 1 has turned it around and he's got Dan Latham in his sights for a hit in the rear wheel. And that has disabled the Milner Track Championship leader as the ball turns around 21. We race on in this evening's opening heat for the Unlimited Bangers as 156 Mick Maskell head to end with Jonesy. Let's take a 156 around. And the flag falls on Nemesis. Keep them coming, Thomas. 331 is second. Jonesy goes for Colbert, but fails to connect. And the rest come through for the places and the positions. Through they'll come. 
Final ball now, Thomas, red flag please. Oh, right at the end, Dave Ball and Jason Colbert with a revenge hit. As the Reds come out, Thomas, I can confirm your entertainer award will go to 1-1-4 one, one, Adam Jackson. Thank you. 